Today we are reading Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur? All about dinosaurs. This is written by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Steve Hayfill. Let's start reading. I'm the cat in the hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak of the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago, before you and me. So how do we know? From fossils, dinosaur teeth, eggs and bone got stuck in the muck, then that muck turned to stone. These fossils are old, they are dusty and worn, because they were made long before you were born. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years, long before you were born. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground. All over the earth, these fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip chip all day. The fossils come loose, then they pack them away. Fossils can crumble because they are old, so dinosaur hunters must first make a mold. To the dinosaur labs, every bone, tooth and bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit. Is this a leg bone? Maybe a muzzle? It's a crazy mixed up dinosaur puzzle. Step up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand, some are big, some are small. Here we will play the best of all games. Oh, say, can you say the dinosaurs' names? Take care of your father, sweet Sally, dear Dick. These long words can make even grown-ups feel sick. And after you've said him, you then get to see him in the cat in the hats super dino museum dinosaur names are not easy to read but give it a try i will help if you need oh say can you say ankylosaurus with a club for a tail and a back full of spikes this dino was strong like an army tank yikes this is the Ankylosaurus. Now, can you say my Myosaurus? There's one thing we know that this dino did best. She kept her kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood, the Myosaurus. Now say Tyrannosaurus Rex. You said that quite nicely. Now you'd better go. T-Rex is no kitten. I think you should know. Fierce Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex was strong with long teeth, sharp as knives. When most dinos saw him, they ran for their lives. T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. All the dinosaurs were his idea of a treat. Carnivore is a name that we give to dinos like this, who ate meat to live. Oh, say, can you say Triceratops? This dinosaur's head had three horns upon it, sticking up out of a hard sort of bonnet. But though he was smaller and not half as fierce, his head was too hard for T-Rex teeth to pierce. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. This is the Triceratops. Oh, say, can you say, Apatosaurus? I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with the Patasaurus. 
these dinos' long necks reached up high into trees where they fed on green leaves just as much as they please. Herbivore is a name that we give to dinos like this who ate plants to live. The Apatosaurus. Can you say Brachiosaurus? This dino was taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. That's how he grew to this size, as you see. The cat in the hat just comes up to his knee. He's no more smart as a you or a me. His brain is the size of a small zucchini. This is the Brachiosaurus. Oh, say, can you say Iguanodon? What he did with his thumb, we think that we know. We think that he used it to job at his foe. This is the Iguanodon. Now say Dino, Dinonicus. Terrible claw is what its name means. We think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. This is the Deinonychus. Can you say Archaeopteryx? This fine feather friend is the earliest known. This bird might have glided. This bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and we must be quite firm, if this bird was so early, Did he catch the worm? That's Theopteryx. It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing. Your mother is calling. Be sure you head home, dear Sally and Dick. I have a surprise that is really quite slick. These dinos, the earliest cat that is known, no one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, say, can you say? Cat in the hat to Saras. The end. I hope you enjoy that. See you next time for another amazing book.